The Castalan battle group emerged from FTL on the edge of the unexplored region. Captain Garrick studied the sensor reading skeptically from the bridge of his flagship, the CSS Victorious. For over a century, Castala had been expanding its territory through the conquest of weaker alien worlds. But these sectors ahead had remained uncharted for a reason. They were rumored to be the ancient domains of mankind. Garrick did not believe the wild tales told of humanity, that they had once held dominion over half the Milky Way, only to mysteriously vanish a millennia ago. It was said that their war fleets could reduce a planet to ashes within hours. But surely after so long their dilapidated colonies and abandoned war machines would prove easy pickings if they even existed. Resources were resources and the Senate demanded expansion, not forgotten legends and fables. Take us in, Garrick ordered. Full sensor sweep. I want no surprises lurking in the dark. The battle group advanced cautiously into the black. Hours passed without contact as they probed system after lifeless system. Garrick was feeling increasingly foolish for heeding old legends when contact blipped onto the scanners. Unknown object emerging from a fold point dead ahead, sir, reported the sensor officer. The image that resolved was unlike anything Garrick had seen. Over five kilometers in length, it bristled with armaments like the spikes of some monstrous space creature. Two curved prongs extended from its teardrop-shaped hull, glowing ominously with contained power. Open a broad wave channel, Garrick growled. Identify yourselves at once. Silence answered him. Then, a deep, synthetic voice spoke in broken Castellan. This is flagship Dreadnought Dominion of United Earth Fleet. You have entered territory under governance of United Earth Space Command. Stand down or be fired upon. Garrick sneered. I recognize no authorities here. This space is uncharted and doesn't belong to anyone. Now this system is claimed and lies within the borders of Castala. What fables you talking about, Earth and its fleets, doesn't exist. They are just imagination and legends told to children. Leave this sector immediately, or you will be, his mouth open, and his voice becoming quiet in fear. Deadly green plasma lances suddenly blasted out of the alien warship. A direct hit caused the CSS Brave to explode, its armored hull rupturing like tissue in front of weapons not seen in more than a millennium. Evasive maneuvers, all ships. Return fire, Garrett growled. While secondary blades protruded from the warship's flanks and cut into their formations, point defense cannons fired, but were eventually taken out one by one. Unexpectedly and without warning, these aliens have intervened. Childhood stories race through his head along with the question, are these aliens really humans? Humans knew only fire and strength, according to the stories the old ones told him when he was a boy. If Castala wanted these systems, Castalan blood would have to be spilled to claim them. Prepare boarding craft, Garrick hissed into his communicator. We take the human ship at all costs. Dozens of gunships launched amidst the tumult, hammering their defenses to clear a path to the hull breach, torn in the brave's death. Garrick would make these monsters pay in kind. The battle seemed to be shifting when disaster struck. Multiple new contacts emerged where the human's vessel had come, unfolding like steel roses blooming with annihilation. Four more leviathans emerged. Their plasma lances sliced through Castalan ships without mercy or hesitation, swarming the battle group without warning or rules of engagement. Within minutes, half of Garrick's ships lay in flaming ruins. The Victorious rocked under a direct hit, that wiped out the starboard batteries. Casualty reports flooded the command deck, each name a life snuffed out needlessly by these not-so-ancient, undying steel behemoths. Garrick knew then they were fighting a losing battle against an enemy who did not tire, did not show mercy, and would not stop until they were wiped out to the last gunship. All ships retreat, 
Garrick spat, tasting bile. Fall back and report what we've witnessed. The Senate must be warned. Humanity has returned, and the legends were true. May the stars preserve us all. The broken remains of the once proud Castala in battle group turned and fled into the dark, pursued by lances of annihilation. They had invaded the ancient territories of humans and paid the price of arrogance in Castellan blood. For the first time in thousands of years, humanity had made contact with alien species once more, but it seemed their nature had not changed, only their weapons had improved with the passage of time. The terror of old Terra had been reawakened, and the galaxy would tremble once more. As the remnants of the fleet desperately tried to outrun the human dreadnoughts, Garrick's mind raced through the stories he had once dismissed as myths, tales of the Terran Imperium's ferocity, their unyielding drive for conquest and survival, their unmatched technological prowess. He had thought them mere exaggerations of a bygone era, but now, Facing the undeniable reality, those old stories echoed with terrifying clarity. The sensor operator aboard the Victorious watched in horror as the human warships cut down their comrades with brutal efficiency. Even as the order to retreat was given, two more Castellan cruisers were lost to well-placed plasma lances. It seemed nothing could stand against these relics of the past that had come alive with deadly fury. As the battered battle group turned to flee, the sensor readings coming in were unlike anything ever witnessed before. Five more human warships had emerged behind them, cutting off any hope of escape. Their plasma lances were powering up for another volley that would surely annihilate the last of the Castellans. Captain, the sensor officer cried out, the humans are locking weapons on us. We're sitting space rocks. Garrick looked around the shattered bridge of his once mighty flagship. Most stations were dark and lifeless, corpses strewn among twisted metal and broken displays. Less than a hundred crew remained alive out of the thousands that had set out so confidently. He knew there would be no escape no mercy from these ancient beings who were previously only known via myths and legends. Bring us about, Garrick said grimly. We die as we lived, fighting to the last breath against impossible odds. All guns, target that lead monstrosity and open fire. As the victorious swung to face its doom head on, Garrick imagined his homeland receiving news of this disastrous first contact. Perhaps their Senate would heed this warning and never venture into these forbidden regions, controlled by humanity's nightmare armadas again. Better they retreat and live to fight another day than repeat his mistake and be obliterated without mercy. The ship's cannons roared to life, unleashing a furious salvo at the approaching human warship. For a moment, it seemed as though they might land a critical blow but the humans' defenses absorbed the onslaught with chilling efficiency, retaliating with a precision that spoke of countless millennia of perfected warfare. Garrick gripped the command console as the victorious shuddered under the impact of multiple plasma lances. Fires erupted along the decks, the ship's hull buckling under the relentless assault, the bridge filled with smoke and the acrid stench of burning circuitry. With a final, defiant cry, Garrick ordered, Fire! The victorious unleashed its last desperate volley, a blaze of defiance against the inevitable. But as the human dreadnought's weapons powered up for the killing blow, Garrick knew their fate was sealed. In the end, they were mere insects beneath the boot of humanity's resurgent might. The final explosion blasted around CSS victorious, a brilliant flash in the void. Garrick waited for death to take him to his gods and his ancestors, as a strange voice echoed across his bridge. Castalan Fleet, this is Commander Holden of the United Earth Ship Dominion. Leave and inform the galaxy that humanity have returned. We'll see you shortly. As the remaining Castalan ships scattered, broken, and defeated, 
the legend of humanity's return would spread across the stars, a chilling reminder that some legends are born from truth. The galaxy would never forget the day humanity emerged from the shadows, their war machines showing that they were more than just fables, but a forgotten power awakened ready to reclaim its place in the galaxy with fire and blood.